Everyone. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is the card that we're making and it opens up just like this. So here's a gift card inside. Isn't that so neat? Okay, so we're going to start out by stamping our images. We've got the greeting here and the bunny. Now see, this piece here is taller than the other piece. So if you get my class packet, don't stamp on this one. That's to make this piece or this um, section here, okay? So this is our stamping piece and we're gonna start with the greeting down here at the bottom so that we can just cut it off. Okay, it's a little faint. Let's try one more time. Much better. Now we're gonna stamp the bunny or the rabbit. What's the difference? Now we're gonna be stamping that again on the inside of our card, but for now we're just working on the outside. I'm using Pool Party and Polished Pink, and um, I'm gonna start with the light, um, polished pink. So y'all know how I've been trying to figure out how in the world to remember this pink color because I keep wanting to call it uh, positively pink, but it's polished pink. And I finally found a way to remember. <laughs> and it's that I always have polish on my nails. I'm a nail person. Uh, and I'm like, okay, polish on my nails, polished pink. And it worked because just now I said polished pink. It's the little things, what can I say? Okay, so maybe that tip will help y'all. I don't know. You have to find something that you can relate to to remember stuff. I remember when I first joined, rut row, grr. Um, see, I shouldn't have been talking. I got ink on, on the outside of his shirt. Um, wrong thing, I want the color lister. Um, when I first joined, I was like, how am I ever gonna remember all these names? It didn't take long. Plus, they're such cute names, right? Okay, so this is a pool party, and I'm starting with the dark. And now the light. Okay, so now we're going to trim the greeting and get that ready to put on the card. Whoops, that was my scoring blade. Okay, so I've trimmed. Oh, I need to replace my blade. Okay, so now one more whack. Is that good? Not too bad. Let's trim the sides. Y'all know I like to use my little trimmer. Not everyone has it. So I try to use my big trimmer as much as I can, but I am gonna break it out and trim the sides. You can also use your scissors. Some cards I say it's okay if it's crooked. On this card, I actually kind of prefer that it not be crooked, if that makes sense. Some cards, it's fine. So now we're gonna cut him out. So now I'm taking my thick, basic white cardstock, and then we're going to score this at five and a half inches. So just like our standard card. I'm gonna use my bone folder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my images on the inside. So we'll start with the bunny. 
and then the grating. So now we need to cut the designer series paper. So your paper starts at four by six and you wanna cut it to measure two and a half by five and a quarter. So two and a half by five and a quarter. So we're gonna attach this in the middle and you can see there's a little bit of space at the top and the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna set all this aside now and we want to emboss this layer. So there's that. This is the Whimsical Woodland Embossing Folder. Isn't it beautiful? So whimsy. So I'm gonna open this up and place my polished pink paper in there. And then I'm gonna get my die cut machine. So after we emboss it, then we're going to cut the circle out, okay? Okay, so here's that layer. Again, it's just so beautiful. Now we're going to cut the circle out. Okay, so you can put this in right in the middle if you want. I'm gonna bring it down just a smidge. So you can center it if you want, but I'm going closer to the bottom, just a little bit. I'm trying to make sure it's equally spaced on the left and the right which is the sides. And here's that layer. You can use this for a future project. Okay, so now we're gonna add this layer right on the front, just like that, and we're gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals in the corners. So one here, here, here and here. And I am gonna add another one on the top, but not the bottom, okay? That looks pretty good. And then he's just gonna get glued right in here and um, I'm actually gonna use a dimensional. I'm putting his legs under there. So remember when I said I'm not gonna add a dimensional at the bottom, that's why. Okay, and then the greeting is gonna get added here. And yeah, right there. So I'm gonna use mini dimensionals for this one. I haven't forgotten about the inside. <laughs> and you can also, uh, talking about the inside, you could also use designer series paper to make that pop up um, thingy. <laughs> Don't know what it's called. Um, I'm just using basic white cardstock, but your packet, if you get the class packet, it has lots of um, extra paper in there. So you can use your paper to make that gift card holder. So I'm tying a bow. I'm saving the hardest part for the last. It's actually not hard. Um, yeah, it's not hard. Okay, I'm gonna add this with a glue dot. And this bow you kind of do want smaller because it'll cover up the bunny if you don't. Or you can 
um, raise him up a little bit. Ruh -roh. Again, I'm using a glue dot. Whoa. There we go. And we want to add our Wink of Stella. And you can't, you can't really see it on video, but it looks so cute in person. You just kind of have to angle it to see it. And I am running out of Wink of Stella. It's on low inventory right now on the Stampin' Up! website, so I'm <laughs> conserving. Okay, so let's make the gift card holder. So we're gonna get the Simply Scored scoring tool out again. This piece measures four and an eighth by six, and we're gonna score it at a half an inch, one and a quarter, one and three quarters, two and a half, three and a half, four and a quarter, four and three quarters, and five and a half. <laughs> That's a whole lot of lines, isn't it? So we're gonna fold on all of those score lines and burnish with our bone folder. I'm laughing because when I first uh, made this card, I was like, oh goodness gracious, that cannot be right. That's so many lines. Uh, but it is right. <laughs> okay, so it's going to, see these um, half inch sections here? They are going to fold like that. And then it's going to look like that. Okay, so this is our actual box. So now we just need to use our adhesive. So we're going to fold this down, so I'm going to add, let me use my uh, Stampin' Seal Plus, it's a little bit quicker, I say that, I'm going to get it started. And then I'm just going to fold this over, so see, you can always see, already see that it's formed, and then we're going to add the Stampin' Seal to this rut row. That wasn't very straight, was it? It still works. So that's how it's gonna look right now, okay? So what we're gonna do now, and I'm gonna use my liquid glue because I need to be able to have some wiggle room, <laughs> meaning if I mess up, I can, I can slide it into place. So I'm gonna take my liquid glue and add it to the bottom. So this is the opening, flip it upside down and add your liquid glue. And we just want to I said I needed some wiggle room, but it's already kind of stuck. So ideally you want equal space between this side and this side, okay? And then now we want to add adhesive to that piece. So we're gonna bring this up and just hold that and let that dry. Okay, now we, whoops. Okay, I really need to let that dry, so. So I probably should have used tear and tape so that it would dry quicker. Um, but while we're letting that dry, what we're gonna do is add adhesive to this section right here and this section right here. And that's gonna, just a very small line of adhesive because then it's gonna leave the opening for the gift card. So. And I'm just gonna fold this up and just hold it. Again, let that dry. So while this is drying, 
I will go ahead and color the bunny real quick. And I will probably fast forward this since you've already seen me color it. There's no need to do it again, right? Okay, so let's see if this is working. We're gonna fold it. If you do color the bunny on the inside, you will see the bleeding on the back. I'm okay with that. Okay, so it does fit in the envelope and it looks like I'm a little crooked on my, um, on my fold, but let me show you the gift card. Whoops, upside down. Okay, so it folds over just like that. When you're putting this pop-up gift card thingy, make sure that you center it. If you can see, I'm at about an eighth of an inch off, which is kind of affecting my folding. It still will fit in an envelope, but it's a little cattywampus. Okay, the final step is we're gonna add our embellishments. So we're gonna take three of these, and they're really hard to see. Um, because we're adding them to the snowflakes. I guess those are snowflakes, whatever those things are, right? And one over here. So on this card, I added one here, one here, and one there, just in case you were wondering. I'm gonna try to do the same thing on this one. Yeah, so here, here, and here. Okay, so that wraps up this card. Thanks so much. Have a great day.